We've got some new rumors circulating once again around Lucid Motors. This EV company just went through a huge hype up phase in anticipation of them going public through a SPAC merger with Churchill Capital CCIV. After weeks of thorough speculation and analysis, we finally heard the confirmation of the SPAC merger deal on Monday, February 22nd. But now, after the big sell-off after the announcement, we have new rumors claiming that Lucid and tech giant Apple may be partnering up to produce the long-fabled Apple car. Is there any truth to these rumors, or is this an attempt to pump the stock back up after the steep sell-off? We will be going over everything you need to know about this Lucid Apple story in today's video. So let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Mark with MC Stocks. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button for more videos like this one. And as always, remember to do your own due diligence when investing and seek a financial advisor for professional advice. So CCIV stock saw a steep sell-off after the merger announcement with Lucid Motors, bringing the stock price down to levels that we haven't seen since January, erasing some of the large run-ups that we have seen in February. Now we have some rumors floating around claiming that Apple may be partnering up with Lucid Motors to produce Apple cars. But how sustainable are these rumors? Well, let's first start off with Apple's recent backstory with the Apple car. Project Titan is Apple's code name for their Apple car project starting in 2014 with about 1,000 employees working on it. Since then, it has been reported that they have faced several technical challenges and changes in leadership. However, as of recently, it appears that they have overcome those challenges and are now seeking manufacturing partnerships to produce their cars. Since the start of 2021, there have been some rumors claiming that Apple has been in talks of going into a partnership with Hyundai, Kia, and Nissan, all of which have subsequently been denied by all three companies respectively. But let's focus on why exactly Apple might have been looking at these car manufacturers in the first place. The idea here is that Apple is looking to produce their cars within the United States from a well-established manufacturer. Reports also speculated that Hyundai Kia was also willing to give Apple control over both the Apple car software and the hardware, with Apple planning for a full Apple branded vehicle and not a Kia model that includes Apple software. So this is really painting the picture of what Apple may be after a company essentially willing to onboard Apple technology onto their existing vehicles, preferably being built within North America. So where does Lucid Motors tie into all of this? In this entire Mac Rumors article, there was no mention of Lucid Motors at all, and they have been keeping their article pretty well updated with highlighted details. Well, we can trace back the origins of the Lucid Apple rumors to this interview with CEO Peter Rawlinson, where he makes a clear pitch saying that he's open for a partnership with a Silicon Valley tech company. Let's listen in. There's a, there's a, com a compelling argument for partnership. This is a pragmatist in me. Let's lead, let's create the very best EV technology in the world. And I believe Lucid's got that. But I think I'm up for partnership in terms of software. We've got the best car. We have the best um, hardware suite. We've got all this connected with an Ethernet gigabit ring, super connected car, two terabytes of data on board storage, super cloud connectivity. This is the perfect platform for any um, um, Silicon Valley big company to prove out its AD software, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, was this all... So it's very clear that Peter is open to some type of partnership, even giving us a type of nudge-nudge, wink-wink here at the end. But this is no confirmation that they are actually in talks specifically with Apple. From this interview though, we do learn what Lucid's vision is. They believe that they can create the best electric vehicle out on the market and have the best hardware suite on board. But they would like to open up for a partnership in terms of the software. And for car software, this would possibly include anything all the way from the user interface on the screens, apps in the car, connection to the cloud, and even the autonomous vehicle technology package. 
And it is because of this exact offering that many are speculating that this type of deal would make the most sense for Apple to pursue. Potentially, a licensing type of deal where Apple provides Lucid, the software to integrate into their vehicle, could be the partnership down the line. But is something like this far-fetched? Not at all, and we don't have to do much research to see where this is happening. For instance, this article from July 2020 states that Tesla has made clear that they are open to licensing their products, including their autopilot technology. This would definitely close the multi-year technological gap between Tesla and other EV competitors, while Tesla gets to rake in all of the licensing profits. So if Apple is capable of performing their own software licensing deals, then they will have a slice of the EV software pie for themselves. From previous pictures and videos, we know that Apple has been working on autonomous vehicle technology with multiple sensors attached to some test vehicles driving around in Cupertino, California. So if they are at the point where they can license this autonomous technology to a company like Lucid, then we do have something big brewing here. Apple does not have to be limited though to just selling autonomous vehicle software, but they can also provide licensing to their existing software ecosystem integration. Apple is famous for how well their products are able to integrate and communicate with one another. Adding this seamlessness to a car could be the next step in expanding the Apple ecosystem. If we check out the Lucid Motors investor presentation, we can see that we do have several former Apple executives now working at Lucid. Likewise, looking at CCIV, which will now be merging with Lucid, we can see that Sir Johnny Ive is an operating partner who is the designer of the iMac, PowerBook, MacBook, iBook, iPod, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, AirPods, and HomePod, and is credited with designing some of the most significant and iconic products of the last two decades. So it would not be too far-fetched to assume that these members with an Apple history could have some influence on a potential decision to strike a licensing deal with Apple to incorporate their ecosystem with Lucid's vehicles. We can already see a similar type of deal already underway with Ford and Google. According to this Lexology article, Alphabet, Google's parent company, signed a six-year partnership agreement with Ford Motors Company. This deal will embed Google's Android system into all Ford models outside of China starting in 2023. Similarly, Microsoft entered into an agreement to provide its Azure cloud computing system to Volkswagen and General Motors. Amazon Web Services and Toyota struck a deal in August 2020 to help Toyota build its cloud-based data services. So it might not be long before Apple decides to enter the playing field with their own partnership agreement possibly with Lucid Motors. We will have to wait and see for an official announcement coming from either company to understand their official plans forward. If you are looking to buy some shares of Lucid CCIV and need a brokerage, be sure to use our referral links in the description below for some free sign-on bonuses that can get added to your accounts. Good luck everyone with your holdings and stay tuned on our channel for any news regarding the latest Lucid Motors developments. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when we release our next video. Please like and share for more videos similar to this one, and comment below with any questions that you may have so that we can address them in future videos. Thanks.